Woodworkers know that when you're making a project, you regularly need at least one square edge. But if you're working with rough lumber or live edge lumber, you can't just run it across a table saw. You could get a curved edge, or worse yet, you could get twisted and kicked back. So how do you get a square edge safely? Now a track saw would be a great option if you have one, but if you don't, there's a much less expensive way that works on your table saw. It's the straight line rip hold down clamps from Rockler. It's a pair of innovative clamps that you mount to a sled to safely make straight rip cuts on your table saw. And there are a couple of ways you can use them. First, if you're ripping stock that's no wider than three to seven inches and no thicker than an inch and five eighths, you can mount the clamps to a shop made sled. The sled is simply a piece of plywood with two straight and parallel edges and a vertical spine to make it more rigid. The straight line rip hold down clamps mount on the edge of the sled. The board that you will rip rests on these board sleds that can be adjusted depending on the width of the board you're cutting. The board you are ripping is positioned in the jig and the clamps are then tightened to secure the board to the jig. Next, you position the jig and the board against the table saw fence and adjust the fence to set the location of the rip cut. Finally, make your cut using the handles to push the jig through the cut. This is a great option for project parts that go from three to seven inches in width. It's also a great way to get straight edges on a selection of lumber of varying widths. And if your stock is longer than 40 inches, you can attach two pairs of the jig clamps to a longer sled board to create a longer jig. The second option is to mount these clamps onto a wider sled. This works best for wider boards, something like these live edge slabs. In this configuration, the sled is another piece of plywood with straight and parallel edges, and it should be at least six inches wider than the lumber you're cutting. The jig board sleds are removed and the clamps are mounted to the top of the plywood. Depending on how wany or curved the board edge is, the clamps are positioned and secured to the plywood sled to keep them close to the edge of the lumber. The board you cut is secured by tidying the clamps. Then the table saw fence is positioned and you make the rip cut. These jigs have large knobs that make them very safe and more comfortable to operate than any similar jig I've seen. So if you mill a lot of rough lumber or live edge lumber, check out Rockler's straight line rip hold down clamps. Its versatile design makes it useful for a variety of widths and types of lumber. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Thanks for watching.